Hey guys, well as you can see I'm back from my trip and it's modeling time, okay? So we're gonna start off today with a uh, pretty straightforward one, but nevertheless hopefully uh, a lot of fun. We're gonna do a bow and arrow, okay? Here we go. Hey guys, well we're in my 2018 and we're gonna be doing a bow and arrow. Now I uh, like to typically put in uh, the string for the bow, um, just so that I got a good point for orientation. So I'm just gonna take a cylinder Hit E to rotate that, flip that over, hit R to scale this way, way down and just pull that out. And this is just a placeholder. So I got an idea of, you know, what it's going to be like and I'll make it a bit thinner. Okay, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating the, uh, the block out for half of it and then duplicate that over. But again, you know, it's just so that we have an idea of where we're at. So I'm going to jump to, uh, let's see, my top view here. And uh, I typically, yeah, I think that, that will work. Okay. So and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Create Curve Tool, CV Curve Tool. And my handle is going to be in the middle, of course. So I'm going to start somewhere around here. And I'm just going to start clicking here. And we're going to start to create a, uh, a curve. So let's go up a little bit here. And then we can come back in. And we'll work towards the end there. And let's go in here. And then wrap that around into a nice curl like that. Now it's not too bad. We're going to tweak a little bit. We're going to right click the control vertex, especially this one here. Hit W to move it. And I'm going to hit B for soft select so it doesn't look too abrupt. That's a bit too much. Let's try it without. Just trying to get a nice flow here. Yeah, it's probably better. And then we'll take this one. Take that one. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go in and create an initial shape for the first piece. Now we started here, so that's what we need to be. We're gonna take a polygon cube and we're just gonna bring that in. Let's uh, scale it down a bit. And I'm gonna go into face and select the faces that I don't want Go to this guy, go to uh, Modify and Center Pivot. And then I'm gonna hit W and move it forward. All right, so now we have that, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna right click select that face, shift select this guy, and I'm gonna hit Control E to extrude. It's gonna go straight forward as you can see. And what I want here is to add division. So it will start to follow that flow. And uh, let's see, let's do maybe 40. And then we can go in, we can taper that a little bit if we want, which I think is a good idea. So let's uh, do that. Uh, and I don't necessarily want to do a twist unless it looks absolutely awesome. It could look awesome. So let's give that a try. Let's try 360, which is kind of neat, I guess, yeah. And we're gonna smooth this out anyway, right? But for now it's fine. And what I want to do is to add some thickness in this area. So I'm going to go into edge, double click on that edge and hit B for soft select. And then hold down B and left click and drag to kind of increase the impacted area. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to kind of scale that a little bit. And let's just uh, kind of repeat that process. Maybe here. Just trying to find out how that looks, but I guess it's kind of cool. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We're going to hit B to turn that off, and I'm going to go into object mode. I'm just going to hit 3 to preview smooth, and of course, you're not going to see anything of that twist that we had. So I'm going to hit 1 to go back, and what I'm going to do is go in here, select that face, delete that face. And then let's go in and we're going to go to, uh, I would say, this phase right here. And then the opposite one. And it's running all the way through, I guess. And it looks like it is, which is perfect. Hit 5 to go back to shaded mode. 
Let's hit the control E to extrude and let's tweak the offset a little bit. That should be just a little. So 0 0.02 maybe, maybe a bit more, 0 0.04, which is uh, cool, I guess. And then we're gonna hit G to repeat. Or not, let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna hit G to repeat. And then let's add some thickness, 0 0.01. Should be enough, yep. So now if we go in and we hit three, and don't mind that end piece there, it should look a little bit like this, which is kind of cool. All right, so we're gonna want to go back and we're gonna deal with this end right here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go in, we're going to go to edge. And let me just fix this little end here. We don't want any issues. I don't think we have issues though. No, we don't. Looks good. So I'm going to take those four edges, control E to extrude and W to pull out. So that's going to be the main handle piece. And we should, or I should bring it to the middle there. So I'm going to hold on X to snap it. So we've got a good clean setup when we flare that out. And then I'm going to hit R and I'm going to kind of do that. And then we're going to go in to insert edge loop, option box, multiple, and set that to three. Let's bring them in right there. Okay. Q on the keyboard, double click on this one, hit R. All right, so I think that looks all right. Then we're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. So we got that. We're gonna do next is we're gonna select this guy and we're gonna go to the top. We're gonna move that pivot point. So hit the insert key, hit W to move it and hold down X to, come on, I'm gonna move my pivot. We're gonna move it up there after frame. I want it right there, okay. Hit the insert key again. We're gonna hit X to move this. There you go. And then we're gonna go to edit. We're gonna go to duplicate special option box. Let's see, that's X, Y, and Z. So we're gonna set this to one and that one to negative one. And let's hit duplicate special. There you go. So that looks all right. Now this needs to be, uh, put together, so select both, go to mesh and uh, combine, and then we're gonna right click, go to vertex, drag select those vertices, go to edit mesh and merge, 0 0.01, that's fine. And uh, let's do a preview smooth here, let's see what we got. So that's a good start. We still got the twist going on, it's kinda neat. Now let's add a little detail to it, okay? So we're gonna hit one to go back, and let's clean this up a little bit. We're gonna to go to injured edge loop, option box, set that to single. Let's add one right there and one right there. Okay. And now we want a section to go over the handle. So for that, we're gonna to go to uh, our injured edge loop again. And we're gonna set it to multiple and to one because we want it to be perfectly in the middle. So we're gonna have one right there in the middle and right there in the middle, okay? So now we need to make sure we're working on the top of our bow here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this guy and uh, this guy, and we're gonna delete them both. And we're gonna go in, right click edge, double click and shift double click. And go to edit mesh and bridge option box, smooth pass, uh, smooth path and curve. Let's set the divisions to, I would say 30. That's too much, we can do that, 10, yeah. We're gonna click on bridge, which will give us this. And let's see here, we're gonna taper that a bit. That looks about right. Yeah, not too bad. 
no twist. Uh, let's see, this is fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some spikes here. But first what I wanna do is select this whole guy Hit three to preview smooth. Let's see what we got. Not too bad. Hit one to go back. Let's go to mesh and smooth. And let's set this to level one. I guess that's fine. Yep. Level one's all right. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and add some spikes here and add some detail to the handle. So let's do the handle first. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna hit uh, right click edge. We're gonna double click on this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then jump over here. Okay, and we're gonna go to edit mesh and bevel. Let's set the fraction, 0.2 is fine, I guess. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna go and select those faces. Control E to extrude, and let's do minus 0.2. How about minus 0.04, a lot less, how yeah, much better, okay. So let's do a quick preview. Yeah, very nice, good, good. All right, and then uh, let's work on our spikes. So I'm gonna bump this smooth level up a bit. There we go. And we're going to go in here and we're going to take a uh, polygon. What's that thing called? It's a cone, right? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to hit R to scale this guy up quite a bit. And what I want to do here is kind of go in, right click, go to edge, double click on the bottom one and slightly bring that in. Now we don't need that. We don't need the faces down there, so let's open up the attribute editor. Let's go in. Let's set cap to zero. Right click at a face. Select that face and delete it. And then we can go into edge, double click, kind of scale that in like so. All right. And then we're going to go to object mode. Come on, object mode. E to rotate. Flip it over like this. W to move it, R to scale it down a lot, and then move it again. After frame, and let's see what we got here. That needs to come up, of course, and be scaled down. Let's make sure it's nice and centered after frame. That's good. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. Let's uh, move that over to about there. Bring that in. And then uh, G to repeat. Oops, not that one. Control D again, let's move that over and bring that in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the sky and kind of freestyle that. We're gonna rotate this one as well. Let's see what we got here. Will they look okay, I think. They do. This one needs to be corrected. That one looks almost fine. And that one's okay, right? So now that we have that, we're gonna, uh, let's see, we're gonna take these two, we're gonna go to mesh and uh, combine. Let's hit Control D to duplicate. We're gonna move that over here. E to rotate it, flip it around, 
and then hit W and kind of bring that out here. I think that looks right. Let's uh, tweak them height wise. Okay, so that guy is going to come down a bit. That one's going to go up a bit. Just get them centered. All right, so now that we have that, let's see what else we can do here. Now, um, that looks okay. Uh, I can use this guy if I want, but I still want it to be much thinner. So let's uh, bring that in a bit. Hit W and move that forward. And then I can stretch it out again. That would kind of make more sense. Okay, so let's take a, uh, a torus. I think that's what it's called. E to rotate, hold on J, flip that upward, and then we're gonna go in here and let's set this to 0 0.2, maybe 0 0.1 maybe, 0 0.1, uh, radius 0 0.5, yeah, we're getting a bit closer. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move that in here and bring it in. And let's hit R and scale that down. F2 frame. W to bring in. E to rotate a little bit. R to scale down a bit. And then let, um, let's see, hit G to repeat. Actually, that's too much work. Let's go in here and just copy this guy. Control D to duplicate. And then hit Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. And I think that looks all right. And then we're just gonna select that and go to Mesh and combine. Let's hit uh, Control D to duplicate. Move that down here. F to frame in. E to rotate. Flip it around. Make sure it's flipped correctly. All right, that's kind of neat. And let's see if there's anything we can add to that just to make it look cooler. Um, actually, I think we're good. Just see if there's anything else I can do here just to make it a little bit more interesting. Spikes are okay, curves are okay. I think this is it, guys. Okay, so we're going to drag select this guy, we're going to go to uh, Mesh and uh, Combine. And I'm going to hit E to rotate this guy, hold down J. And if we go to Edit, Delete by Type History, we can now go in and get rid of that curve. And get rid of that curve. Oops. That one still has history on it, looks like. Uh, delete by type history, yeah. And then we should be able to go in and delete that curve. There you go. And here we have it. This is our bow. Now we need an arrow for that, of course. So uh, that's not too much of a fuss. We'll take a uh, polygon. E to rotate it, hold on J. R to scale it out. Scale it, make it nice and thin. Even thinner than that. And I'll just pull that out. Let's bring that in to about here, I would say. OK. 
Okay. Now let's get that arrowhead in there. Uh, so for that, what we'll do is we'll take a polygon cube. Push that in, hit R to make it nice and flat. And then let's see, we'll hit F to frame it. Right click at a vertex and drag select these guys. Push that in like so. We still have this set to three, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, one's fine. We'll do one there, one there, one there. And we're gonna go in. And then we're gonna go in, we're gonna right click at a face, select this face, control E to extrude, and W to pull out, R to scale way, way down, G to repeat, W to pull out, and R to scale in. And then we're gonna go in, we're gonna go to mesh and smooth, We'll take this, we'll hit R to scale it way down. W to bring that in. Okay. Then we're going to take uh, a polygon torus again. E to rotate, hold on J, flip it over like this. R to scale it way, way, way down. I have to frame it in. Pull it up there. After frame again, scale way, way, way down. And bring it in here. Control D to duplicate. Move that over. Hit Shift D a couple of times. That's good. And then in the back here, what we're gonna do is take another polygon cube, R to push it in. Nice and flat. We're gonna to go to insert edge loop, put one in the middle, Q on the keyboard, vertex, drag select and drag select. Push them back like so. Do the same with these guys. We're gonna go to object mode, we're gonna hit R, scale it way down and maybe stretch it out a bit. And bring that in. Have to frame that. Looks all right. I'm gonna go in here, control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J. Like so. And then we're gonna take this guy, this guy, this, and all of this. Come on, work with me. Go to Mesh and Combine. So we can now hit W. Do something like this. Okay. So there you go, guys. There is our bow and arrow. Uh, like I said, completely free form, which is usually a bit more difficult because you have to figure out what you're going to make as you move forward. But I always find it to be kind of a cool exercise to force yourself to think on how you would approach it. Okay. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know as always. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.